guys, welcome back. I'm doing a dupe on an anthropology vase. I don't know if you remember one of my videos a while back. I mentioned I was going to do that and uh, it's that time. So um, I'm going to pop the video up, uh, the picture over here. <laughs> um, it's the Minka textured pot and uh, it comes in a lot of sizes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sizes. And uh, they get pretty expensive, as low as 34 to $458. So um, I'm going to do the extra small because I have a vase that uh, matches really close to the shape and size of it. So um, I try to do it as close as possible. And um, the extra small is 6.2 inches in height. And this is just right there. Um, so this is six, oh, right there. 16, well, 15 and a quarter, and 15 and a half centimeters. So it's just right there, six. Uh, uh, six just over six inches so it's right there and six inches in diameter but this is larger this is 39 or 40 yeah like 39 or uh, 39 centimeters so that's like 15 something so it is larger in diameter but the opening diameter at the top says 3.25 and this is just right at nine centimeters so that matches so i'm going to use this one and it's a little bit larger here but what i'll do is kind of even it out up here to kind of give it more of that similar shape here because it's a little bit more even but this matches and the bottom tapering uh, I'll make it a little bit more even over here and it will match as for the lines around I'm going to use that foam rope that I used on my uh, Mother's Day vase, that silver one. So that will give it that kind of line around. And then for the little balls, I'm not going to use any pearls or any wooden beads because they're too precise, too circular. And from the picture, these look really uneven. They almost look like they're rolled up cloth or something so i'm going to use the little foam balls uh, for uh, that i use for the gnomes and you know by the time that you put some drywall on top they just will all become different shapes and sizes and they will probably match and look like that so and as for the texture behind i'm going to use i have an, two ideas that i'm going to press on top of the drywall to make it look textured like that i'm going to bring them and show you because i'm going to have to practice and see what will give that texture when the drywall is wet so that is it you know you can if you're going to plan to do it it might give you some inspiration to do your own and uh, do any size you want so i'm going to get my desk already and you know we're going to get started so stay tuned mm -hmm. 